Hello my dear family members, as the exam become offline, many students got depressed. But in this course time, the only hope for them is repetition of coding problem. So today we will discuss a medium category coding problem which was asked in July of campus type 2023. So let's see. The problem is regarding fragments divisible by 11. So you are given a function. The function accepts an integer num as input. You have to implement the function in such that it returns the number of contiguous integer fragments of num that are divisible by 11. Contiguous integer fragments of a number say 1, 2, 7, 3 are dash. So actually this was not included in the screenshot that's why I could not uh, include in the question as well right okay let's look at the example this will be clear to you right so here one two one five five nine eight is the input and output is four how the one two one is divisible by eleven five five is divisible by eleven and the number one two one five five is also divisible by eleven and one five five nine eight is also divisible by eleven so total four times it can be divisible by 11 right total four fragments are there right and in the second case as well in 5 5 only one segment present which is divisible by 11 right okay i hope you have got your task what you have to do right so please do a uh, solve the problem by yourself if not possible then come to watch right okay let's see what is the solution before I proceed to give you the solution, I would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding Accenture on-campus coding questions. The link will be given in the description box, right? Okay, let's go to the solution part. I am not taking the function. I am giving you the logic. You implement the function, right? Okay, at first, let's take the input. Int input. Now, store the original value of n in a temporary variable temp right and now initialize variables for sum count and a list v to store digits right so sum val is equal to 0 count is equal to 0 and v is equal to an em empty list right and now initialize a variable to store the length of list v. Now extract the digits of n to store them in a list, right? So how do we do that? While n not equal to 0, we will append the value, right? Append the last element of n right so how n mod 10 and just by 10 right so this will store the reverse value uh, the of the n right now we have to reverse them again right so that we can get the correct order so v dot reverse okay okay now iterate through the digits in v to find the subsequences right so for i in range length of v and now initialize the sum val again right sum val is equal to the first element of the list right and iterate and again start a new for loop for j in range i plus 1 to length of v right okay now sum val will be sum val is equal to sum val multiply 10 plus vj okay i hope you have got the syntaxes and logic if you can't then let me explain it later now check if the subsequence is divisible by 11 or not right 
सो इफ सम्भल मॉड इलेवन इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ यस देन इंक्रीमेंट द काउंट वन राइट नाउ एट द एंड ऑफ द फॉर लुक जस्ट प्रिंट द काउंट दिस विल बी ओके राइट ओके आई होप द कोड इज ओके लेट्स चेक फॉर द फर्स्ट इनपुट दैट इज वन टू वन फाइव फाइव नाइन एट so this is 4 as expected right and for 5 5 this should give 1 okay this is 1 you can check another input cases right so this code is okay right actually what happens let's say the number is 1 to 1 5 5 9 8 right 1 to 1 5 5 9 8 <laughs> here at first it is iterating through this elements so now 1 right this is assume that this is a list right okay at first the element here sum val is equal to 1 then sum val is equal to in this case uh, actually the second for loop is iterating through from 2 to last element right so the first value of vj value is 2 right so this will at first check 1 multiplied 10 that is 10 Plus two, right? So that will be twelve at the first. In the second iteration of the this for loop, the value of v j is one, right? So now the new value will be the sum value was twelve, and it will multiply with ten. That will be one twenty plus one. That will be one twenty one, and it will check if sum value is divided by eleven. Yes. so it will increment the count right this way it is actually working right okay i hope you have got the logic right if you face any problem then let me know i will give you the solution anyhow right and if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question accenture off campus coding questions and accenture previous year coding questions or playlist link will be given in the description box right so thank you for today's session